This video is going to piss a lot of people off, but I don't think I'm wrong. What's up, everybody? My name is Austin Randolph, and uh, really quick before I get moving, if you dig what I kind of do, which is a lot of uh, blab and a lot of opinions nobody asked for, but, you know, if you enjoy the opinions, give me a a follow, a like, whatever the YouTube metrics say. Give me a follow on TikTok. I think it's Hotel Soap on TikTok with the number one instead of an L. I try to make funny stuff on there and uh, appease the algorithm of Daddy TikTok, so I'd appreciate it. I think this guitar is really misunderstood. <laughs> like, uh, every video I see on an SG, people either talk about it a little bit and then they literally just start playing ACDC riffs. And like, that's the, that, there you go. That's her whole video. Can it do Angus Young riffs? Yes, wow, what a great SG. And that's, or the other kind of video I see are like really, really, really technical, like Ibanez, Polyphia style metal and prog dudes that buy an SG and then they're like, I spent six months with my SG and it was the biggest piece of shit ever. All Gibsons are dog shit. And it's like, well, dude, like the more time I spend with this guitar, it's it's really not for that at all. It's not like this thrash machine. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with the story, but uh, Cliff Notes, 1961, Gibson comes out with the Les Paul. Yes, this was the Les Paul for like two or three years before Lester Paul himself, I think, got a divorce and he didn't want his wife, his ex-wife, to keep getting checks from the guitar. Uh, so basically, uh, Les Paul name was ditched and this became the SG, solid guitar. And it has remained as such since 1963, I think. This, brand new, right? This is the new Gibson after their, uh, what are they calling it? I think it's the JC era. I just thought that was funny. It's like the, the Jesus Christ era. But um, quality control supposedly has been overhauled with the SG standard, which is what this is. They have a standard and then a 61 standard with a couple differences that we'll talk about now. The couple differences on the standard, you get Grover tuners. You get uh, a really, really fat neck, like a fat round C neck. Um, you get the bigger pick guard and you get 490 pickups. On the 61, you get your uh, more traditional tuners. You get uh, a version of the burst bucker pickups, so they're going to be a little hotter, a little more aggressive. And you get a slimmer neck on the 61. And the, the thing everybody notices and has an opinion on, uh, the pick guard, you get a skinnier one that basically is about half the size of this one on the 61 standard. On paper, and kind of in practice, it's a better Les Paul. Calm down. What I mean by that is I'm a Les Paul guy. I have had several Les Pauls. The one I have right now is, I'm probably gonna keep that Les Paul till the day I die. It's a Japanese copy from 1980. There's a couple of videos about it on my channel. It's, it's sweet. I love that guitar. But this, what I mean by that is, what are the problems people have with the Les Paul? It's heavy and clunky. Okay. Well, this is way lighter, way less heavy and clunky. The register to the upper frets sucks. And there's no way around that. It does. If you're playing like way up, like like the Freebird solo, right? When it's in the G minor pentatonic and you're all the way up here, your hands like this and it, it sucks, it's uncomfortable. This solves that with two cutaways. And I think another gripe people have with Les Pauls is they're very, 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 very good at where they sparkle is when you start to push your amp or when you put some dirt in front of it because that top end snap that you get from the maple cap that's on, you know, the top of a lot of Les Pauls, that snap you get from your strings, 
the sound waves from your strings vibrating, popping off quickly from that maple cap on the top. A lot of people don't realize maples are really commonly used like guitar wood. And if you live in the, you know, US like I do, especially in the Midwest, I'm like, literally, I can look out this window and I shit you not, I see like 10 maple trees. Like, so it's easy to forget that maple is like a really, really hard wood when it comes to woods that people work with. Maple's like concrete compared to the body that this is made out of and the body of a Les Paul, but this doesn't have a maple cap on it. This is just a piece of, just a piece of mahogany. It's a way softer wood. So where I'm getting with that is Les Pauls really excel when things get dirty, crunchy, loud, and aggressive. This excels in that lane, but not as well. So it gets on my nerves a little bit then when people talk about SGs and all they play is ACDC riffs. Like, does this do ACDC riffs? Yeah, no shit. But like every time, let me put it this way. When I see somebody playing an SG and they're playing it with a clean tone, I'm surprised because that's how little I see people play SGs on a clean tone. And this clean tone's great. I'm gonna run through some tones in a little bit out of a uh, Fender Bass Breaker. Um, I'll make a video about this amplifier. I don't get more why more people don't have these. Um, the clean tones on this are great. Very, um, very couchy, very, but not too kind of padded like you'd get out of a jazz box or a hollow body, but very, um, very smooth, very me mellow. And even the bridge pickup, like, is it snappy? Yeah, it's a bridge pickup, but it's not like a, ooh, wincing, like, like you'd get from a telly or something like that. So this is, for most people, most people, this is maybe the best all around, most versatile guitar. There I said it, I'm so sorry, please don't hate me. What it's not is a shred machine. The neck is really, really big. <laughs> like, I personally like that because I play guitar like an ape. Like, I, I don't have a gentle left hand. So I've always liked a thicker neck and you get, this is the thickest neck I have out of everything. I have a semi-hollow. I have, like I said, a Les Paul copy from the 80s and this neck's thicker than all of those. But I like that. It fits in my hand really well. Um, the neck dive on this, because everybody talks about the neck dive, um, it's not terrible, but, boo, 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 but it's there. It's not like, you know, it's flying toward the surface of the earth, but, uh, you know, it exists. I, I, I've seen some YouTube dudes that are like, it's way overblown and whatever. <sighs> Overblown, maybe, but it doesn't, like, not exist. So, yeah, this does have a little bit of neck dive. You can fix it with your strap or whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, and honestly, as far as negatives go, I can't think of a negative. And also, I think it's been, like, 10 years since they made a white SG. And, oh, my God, it, it, it looks so good. So I'm going to play this guitar. Hopefully you guys can appreciate the tones coming out of it as much as I can. <laughs>
shirt's different my hair is wet amazing um for 1600 bucks because that's what these are going for it's like 16 1650 something like that i think a new les paul standard is like three grand so we're talking about a guitar that's like half the price so they priced this at half because of the labor it takes to make a les paul body maple cap binding on the les paul blah 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 it's all labor right Unless you are like a shred lord guy or a hardcore jazz dude, this does everything well. It does everything pretty well. I mean, maybe you could even hear when I was on the middle position, like you could, it, it gets funky when you want it to get funky. And it gets dirty when you want it to get dirty, even if it's not as hardcore as a Les Paul would. This, I think, in the Gibson range right now, even though it's toward the bottom of the line, which is crazy, because it's a standard, I think for most guitar players, these are a really great buy. Thanks everybody, take care.